Hi, this is Michael Davis of Speaking CPR with your daily leadership through crisis and chaos tip. Today's tip comes from my friend Scott. I've mentioned him in other tips. He is a retired Green Beret and today is a leadership expert. He actually coaches leaders through chaos, so this situation is tailor-made for what he does. Uh, Scott taught me that in the Green Berets, they create what's called a battle rhythm. What this is, is a routine that you use most importantly in the morning to start your day, but also throughout your day uh, to give yourself a break to get recentered. Um, you don't have to call it a battle rhythm. You can call it a rhythm or a routine. Doesn't matter to me what the terminology is, but I have a routine that has been inspired by Scott and some of my other mentors. Thought I'd share it with you here. Take what you like, leave out the rest, but it's important to create your own daily routine to get your day going in a positive note. When I wake up, the first thing I do is I have some, some mantras that I run through my head just to kind of get me aligned to, for some positive thoughts for the day. After that, I get up, I drink 24 ounces of water. I've got a big cup that I know is 24 and I, I, I'm almost halfway through my water intake for the day, but that's a great way to cleanse the system from, from your sleeping and get your body going. Then I do five minutes of stretching. I found a yoga routine several years ago that was perfect for me. I've got lower back issues and it just helps me to get my back ready and my, my body limber for the day ahead. Then I do some breathing exercises. Breathing is important to create what's called a parasympathetic state, to get your body, or keep it calm in this case, before the, the stresses of the day attack it and put it into that high alert state. Then I spend at least five minutes in total silence. I find this is a great way to get myself centered, to remind myself of the value that I bring, that, uh, that I should deserve to be successful. I mean, all those positive messages we need to hear because there's so much negativity coming at us today and a lot of fear-based messages. It's up to you and me to remind ourselves, especially at the beginning of the day, that we're going to be okay. So whatever messages work for you. It's also a great time to ask yourself questions, questions that will help you solve problems you're facing or maybe just some creative ideas to get you out of whatever slump you may be in or to get out of the situation that we're facing now. After that, I like to exercise. I usually work out about 30 minutes in the morning. Uh, great way to get the body going to relieve stress before it even hits you. I just, I'm, I'm a huge believer in getting ahead of the curve. I will also exercise maybe five minutes, two or three other times throughout the day, and, and whenever possible, take the dog for a walk or you know, just get out there and move. I then like to grab my breakfast and read for at least 15 minutes. I think it's so important to read to keep ideas fresh. Go, go for the thought leaders in your industry or your topic of expertise. Stay on top of it because there's so many people out there. I know, for example, I just recently completed an online course and I'm seeing online courses everywhere. I'm attending every possible meeting I can about how to be a better online presenter because I've got to stay ahead of my competition. At this point, I'm now ready to take on the tasks of the day. I am ready to answer those emails to help people with the requests they have, deal with the specific problems, but I always center my day around one question. If I could get nothing else done today, what is the one task I have to accomplish? That has been very helpful with some recent projects I've had. It enables me to keep my head down. And although that may be the only task I accomplished that day, it's very rewarding at the end of the day. So set yourself a rhythm. Call it a battle rhythm, a routine, doesn't matter, whatever label you want to give it. But this is a terrific way to start your day in a positive mind frame with uh, some physical release to, to get your body ready and to start with optimism. Hope this helps. We'll see you in tomorrow's tip.